Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Dragon Quest XI. Um, looks a little different. <laughs> We're not in the middle of a field uh, doing level grinding right now. I was kind of going back and forth between doing some level grinding and completing quests. And um, the quest stuff was cool. But then I realized that majority of the places that, or some of the places at least, not majority of them, but few of the places we have to go to, are places we haven't been to before to complete some of these quests. Like, um, actually, where, actually, it's easier going in this way. So, like this one. Galapagos. Um, we have not been there yet. So, uh, I got the thing needed for it, but I don't want to go in there because I'm not sure if going into major cities or any city, really, that we haven't been to is going to trigger something. So, I'd rather us do that, although I have... Uh, gotten some pretty cool stuff. So, we're messing with the spiked armor number three now. We I did a little bit of upgrading on that. Eric, though, he already had a, the hat for Corsair. So I was able to um, go and this one you can actually buy, I believe, in Nautica. I believe is where I got that from. Uh, but yeah. He has Corsair's coat and cap, and I bought the two Soul Breakers for him while I was here. I believe I bought him here. And he's he's looking a lot better now. He's looking a heck of a lot better. And the Corsair actually, uh, wind damage taken is reduced by 20. So that's cool. That helps out a lot. Uh, next up would be Jade. Jade's rocking out the battle dress. Um... The battle dress can actually, I believe, that could be bought. I forgot which store. I was doing a ton of running around, trying to complete quests, trying to look for different uh, different armor sets, different weapons. So we updated her with the full Fathom Fork, which is a quest item that you can get, um, as well as uh, the battle dress. And now she is the Scarlet Slayer. And... Yeah. Uh, five percent chance of full effect when battle begins, and obviously changes the appearance. Um, so Vando, we went with the whip. I, I it blew my mind that I didn't notice this before. I had him with a sword and shield, knowing full well that I was giving him only abilities that had to do with the whip. And I'm like, oh, I wonder how much powerful he's going to be. I put him into a match, and he's a tank. He's awesome. So much better than if he had the sword and shield and absolutely he was going in there with no abilities and no power ups for it. So um, I switched that out for him. We also gave him the triple thine whip. Um, did a little bit of work on that to get it to plus two. Looks pretty cool. I like the design of that whip. That would hurt like hell. Um, I don't believe we did much for Hendrick other than uh, boost up the platinum headgear to plus two. And Rab. Uh, I ended up buying, or actually making, the crown and the uh, dress coat of Dundrazil. Um, didn't even know we had the, the book to do that. But we had the the recipes, uh, went to the, the little fun forge, and we made that stuff for him. Now he's the Sun Lord. And he actually... Um, this is actually really good. Uh, chance of being prevented from casting spells reduced by 25%, chance of being confused reduced by 25%, and chance of being beguiled uh, reduced by 25%. I think it's awesome. That is going to do it for the changes for them. We need to head... I would like to visit places we haven't been to yet. Um, yeah. So we need to try to remember how to it's Hodo. Yeah, this was and the reason that caught my eye is because this was a place we haven't been to in a while. And I'm like, oh crap. Okay, so we got lucky and nothing showed up there. Um but I didn't want to take any chances with other places. Um, where? 
Wait, which one is this? Honolulu? That's not where we want. Oh, we need... Where are you? Lagoon... Yeah, that should be okay. That should be close enough. Oh, hello. Get into a little fight here. Uh, let's let him do tactics. See how fast this one goes. Jade is amazing with that spear. Not bad. Not actually take us that long. I hope. You have access to a horse, and yet I don't use it nearly 75% of the game. What's everybody looking at? Oh, that got really big. Whoa. Looks cool, though. You're not going to let us through, though, are you? Nope. Wait, so... Oh, wrong way, duh. Aha. Where's he? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. I'm doing pretty gosh darn good. We got a few levels into... Oh, and I found out that that's a mount. You can ride one of those horses, and it's awesome. I mean, it's just like this horse, but with a crap ton of armor on it. Okay, so we need to find, I believe it's a lady. No, we don't. Not yet. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. <sighs> and they say it began when Yggdrasil fell. And darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Erdwin's lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, he doesn't feel that. Legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. Now, it was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. What is he doing? But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend... Uh... Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, <laughs> charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. No. You heard everything you needed to hear, did you? All right, then. 
Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? Yeah. But I really want to find... Okay, so... Okay, you... Do I need... Right now I'm kind of just speeding through... Anyone that has like a quest item around them, I'm kind of just speeding through at the moment. Oh, I wonder if they have any upgraded weapons here. Okay, we handed over the item for him. Got Trickster. Which I don't believe is anything that good that we really need. Um, that was a... Was that an actual item? Clairvoyance card imbued with the power to evade enemy attacks. Uh, that's something. Oh, red door. Did we do this one yet? No, we did not. Oh, cool. Hey, mini metal, we needed those. Uh, pretty Betsy. 2,000 gold. Uh, making the magic happen. Hocus Loki. Hocus hats. Uh, fizzle retardant suits. Interesting. I like to see what those look like. Ooh, seed of skill. Sweet. I already used up my other one, so I don't want to use that one unless I absolutely have to. So let's go up, see what the Sultan thinks of this. Oh, hello. Oh, no, you're... You don't have a quest or anything, you just, you just want to talk. will get you killed. Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. Hmm? Ah, it is you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings. And the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes of the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, 
he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the ruins more closely. And that was the it area that was blocked that off. It is we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these ruins ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. All right, so it looks like we can go back there. Is there anything? Oh, we already did that one. Um, nothing up here I need to grab. Oh. Oh, I think we went out here once before. You okay there? Uh, he's he's doing okay. Just having a moment. Okay, that was a flower out there. I do want to check out the shops. Oasis water, kitty litter. There's a ton of cats around here. Why can't I jump over that? I want to check out the shops and see if there's any new armor or. Um, weapons that have dropped in. Before we go looking for the prince. Um, down here. Okay, so that's that. You okay over there? I simply do not understand what's going on. First, you just falls and the world becomes infested with monsters. Then this enormous star descends towards us. It's all too much for me. It leaves me with no desire to do anything. I'll remain here and await my fate. Well, just, yeah. Go for it, I guess. Okay, here, there. Oops, I don't want to buy that. What do we got here? Wow, okay, Lord's Sword, 22,000. Look at what it does for Hendrik. Holy cow. 362 to 385. A golden greatsword that increases the chance of the wielder inflicting a critical hit. That's awesome, and we have plenty of money to afford it. Gladius, 235. Oh, that, that's a knife. A badge of honor awarded to warriors who have uh, accepted... I exhibited exceptional skill and courage. What is the... Well, that's it. It doesn't have anything either other than power. Paladin's Lance. 335, not as good. Okay. You got the Battle Whip. He's a Barb. Not as good, but once it's maxed out, it could be higher than what he, he has. Beast Claws and the Overlord's Axe. Oi, man, is that... Oh, oh, I want to see what they have for armor first before I make my decision. That is a tough one. Okay, so... Ooh, Dark Shield. There you go. Okay, they got the bunny ears. Anything else that's like... The king and queen's coat, which we don't need. Uh, dancer's costume, which I believe... I'll buy it, because it's 1300 Oh, wait, no. Do, do we already have that for... I think we did, yeah, for... Um, why, why can't I remember her name now? Oh, my goodness. It's been so long, and I can't remember her name. That That's that's going to hit me. I'm going to feel like an idiot when I, when I finally remember it. It's Veronica, but what's her sister? Oh, my God. I, I'm having a brain fart. Can't do it. Nope. It's the beginning of the week. Can't do it. Uh, bandit mail. Made of an unknown ore. Or what? Bumps up to 220, 
Raging Bull Helm. Um, in all honesty, I kind of want to get that sword for Hendrik. I mean, it's a beast of a sword for him. And just because I don't think he gets anything from what he currently has. No, he doesn't. We'll go with the Lord Sword. Hendrik. Okay, so right now he's at 385, right? Actually, let's sell. Sell for 4200. Let's, uh, ooh, cannon. Can we boost it up yet? Oh, yeah, recently. Oh, those are interesting looking clothes. Somewhat sinister staff that sometimes paralyzes those it strikes. Interesting, okay. Can we rework Hendrix? No, we need 16! Okay, well, let's make an item and see what we get. Uh, we'll go for a weapon. What do you got for spears? No, oh, we already did full fathom. Got the demon whip. We could try and... Oh, whips are a pain, though. There's so many spots for whips. Yeah, let's go for blood letter. Maybe we can get enough to do Hendrix's sword. That's going to take a little bit more. We'll go to a uh, triple whammy. We'll go to a double whammy. Another double whammy. What? How rude. Um, Stop it. A lightning bash to finish it up. Oh my goodness, perfect. That was a nice easy one though. Good way to build up the perfection pearls. Five perfection pearls. How many do we have? Twelve? Um... Let's do an item. Let's do footwear. Angel sandals. Only takes 320 gold to get that back up. We have plenty of enough. What does this look like? Oh. Why did I do that? Oi. Go for a lightning. Okay. Too far. Um, it'll be good. It's not going to be perfection, but it'll be a success. Plus two? Yeah. We could do Hendrix's sword now. 
Oh man, this one's gonna be tough. We may fail at this one. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay. Keep going to praise. Um. Jeez, okay. Let's not do that one again. At least not there. Nonsense. Dude, really? Ooh, we only have eight left. We need to get that one up there. Everything else is looking okay, except for that last piece. Um... A double whammy? Uh, we'll try it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Finish. We have none. We have no focus left. But we're gonna get. We could. This could be a perfection. Yes, it is. Awesome. That's a plus three. I kind of want to see what that is now. <laughs> 404? For attack? Good lord, Hendrick. That is amazing. Look at the size of that blade. I love it. I absolutely love it. The dude's a tank. Such a good choice. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next episode when we go looking for the prince. Until then, take care and peace out.